two more. Just so if they get it. Fuck. I want to go to Mars, damn it. Uh, fuck my life. I could lose the base. Ethereals are by far the hardest um, invasion force, in my opinion, especially with the sector bots. So I've already proven I can defend my base quite easily with just a skeleton crew. It's just tedious. I might just, like, lose the base. I might just abort. Wait. Why do you have stun guns? And blaster. They invaded my main base? Holy shit, they are retarded. Wow. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lose my main base, because that's kind of where, you know, all of my people are. Ah, uh, okay, well. Proximity grenades, ho. Oh. We don't need the smoke grenades at all, just everyone use proximity grenades. They're really ramping up their um, alien retaliation missions, though. I mean, it's not helping that I'm not shooting them down anymore, but still. Two base defenses back to back is almost unheard of. Dude, you don't get to use that. Uh, no, just pick up a gun off a corpse, dude. I don't want using those. No. Mm, and that's it. Wait, no. These guys have smokes. Ah, <sighs> so many people. And this is my main squad, so I don't want to be as reckless. I don't want to like lose too many of my good people before we go to Mars, because then it'll make the mission way harder than it needs to be. Uh, so many people. And I still have to go through and prime all the grenades. Okay. Can I use arrow keys? No. Okay. <laughs> Feature request. Let me use arrow keys. Be nice if there was a grenade prime hotkey as well. But really, I'd I'd settle for just the arrow gears, letting me scroll through. This should be a lot easier with this many people, though. Even if everything goes to hell, I'll still have so many people left over. Holy shit! Okay, there we go. So look at how fucking massive my base is, and look at all this random shit on the ground. It's kind of insane. Alright, let's, while we're here, just look at all the base layout things. What is this? A lab? Maybe? This is the Hyperwave Dakota... Um, manufacturing. This is an alien interrogation. So it looks pretty small and barren. Uh, that's manufacturing, manufacturing. So I guess, yeah, this must be the science lab. Um, and if we go... Oh, if we go down a little, okay, that's why it looked weird. Well, it's part of the reason it looked weird. So... Alien interrogation is... What? It's this section. Huh. I didn't realize that, but the top and bottom are offset. Anyway. <sighs> Let's get started with the grenades. 
Anyone home? No, perfect. Uh, rookie, that's not good. It means I can't sprint them across. Here we go, I can sprint this guy across. So that he's ready to go as soon as they come through the door. <laughs> this is the guy that didn't get a gun. I think on one of my old playthroughs, I used to give everyone two proximity grenades. So that whenever I had a situation that the proximity grenades were really useful, like, you know, this, everyone would just have two. It would make things so much easier. Um, we can kind of get around that just by having so many people. But it would have been a lot more convenient if we just had two per person. That way I wouldn't have to move everyone around. I didn't expect her to move that way, but okay. I did expect him to move that way though. Um, that'll do for now. He just had to shoot me, but he didn't activate the grenade. That's interesting. Nobody died. Well, that's a bad start. And it's a chrysalid, which is even worse. No. Lisa has a shit throwing arm. There we go. Oh, Trey has no gun. Okay. <laughs> no line of fire. Are you serious, man? Shoot him, why not? And Crystal is dead. Back to hiding. Goodbye, everybody. Boom. There we go. Alright, this is my good squad. They'll have actually good reactions. They can actually win some of these fights. Oh no. Oh, he's burned. Wow. So when they bite you once, if you're human you just you just die. Um you become a zombie the next turn. But these guys were so intense they actually just ate him, like bit him to death. Which is unusual. Now get my Oh, what the fuck? He still became a zombie, that's bullshit. Whatever. Um. Sprint. We don't need to kill the zombie just yet. That's some really shit shooting. The accuracy is awful, dude. Uh, I need more people with guns here. Um. Well, if as long as you don't injure him, I guess I don't really care. <laughs> sure, why not? The benefits of having shit guns is you don't really need to worry about friendly fire. And since these guys are apparently really good shots, I'll just like line them up. Boom. Oh no, it's a zombie. Now it's a chrysalid, now it's a lot worse. <laughs> Not anymore though. Now it's perfect. Run. 
You guys can swap places. And you can run into a corner and hide. <laughs> Uh, so hopefully this mission won't take too long. Because I have my good people here. Oops. That's fine. Kabam! I'm surprised if we can see through the smoke though. But hey! I'm not going to complain about some pre -kills. And they're panicking because we're absolutely crushing them. <laughs> Just want to get to Mars. Help of human out. Friends. This might be the last few guys. Man. It's very nice to have decent people for base defense. Instead of a team of rookies. Uh, next grenade. And run away. Next grenade. And run away. Who's next? These four. There's only a couple left or so. Just the one. And we just lost that guy to the random bite. Please stop. Okay, well, now you guys can see alien food. Isn't that a wonderful picture? <laughs> alien food. These chambers contain various enzymes which are used to digest the body parts of cattle, other animals, and even humans. I, I don't really like that sentence just from a writer's perspective. Cattle, other animals, and even humans. Surely there's a better way to say that. Anyway, the liquid is then consumed as ready digested food, probably direct to the bloodstream. That sounds like it's written by someone who doesn't understand how digestion works, but okay, sure. This suggests a certain dependence on Earth for food, a symbiosis between Earth and alien society. So that's lovely. Oh, these guys are nearly done. Maybe. Probably. Oh, please don't invade my base. Thank you. Fuck, we gotta shoot that one down. Uh, okay, this is nearly the same spot as last time. You don't care, fuck. Are they finding tainted mines again? Okay, they're trying. We don't care, we don't care. Oh, we care about a party ship though. Let's cut them off. I'm gonna run out of Illyrium if I have to keep doing this. Uh, uh, nine left, okay. How much do you have over here? 20. We're gonna transfer 10 of that back to main base then. Maybe 12 of it. No. I pressed OK, didn't I? Right? Everyone saw that. And this didn't do anything. <sighs> Dude. Where is my Cydonia mission? Why is this research going so slow? I've been ignoring your foes for like a good hour now. Please. Oh uh, dear. Okay, it's just looking. 
Uh, what? That one's looking for the hated mines. Oh dear God! Please, not another base defense. If it's if they actually get into a base and it's not the primary base, I'm just gonna let them take it. I am. I am. We just want to get to Mars and end the game. That's all we want to do. Look, we have eighty-four thousand dollars. Holy shit! And it's nearly the end of the month. The council is going to be so pissed. Ah. Oh. I did nothing the entire month. And they're happy. The only thing that went badly is USA, which is like the biggest fund over the whole project, pulled out because they didn't shoot down any UFOs and then they got infiltrated <laughs> by UFOs. Uh. You don't care. Okay, one down. Two to go. Please go away now. Please. Please. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> uh well, on the plus side, everyone has their loadouts already done. So we're gonna need to buy some more proximity grenades. Because this is... a lot of grenades to be using. Three almost back to back base defenses. What a day. You can have a gun. And I think we're out of proximity grenades. Hopefully, it's someone weak. Like one of the weak alien races. So that they just walk over the grenade and instantly die. It would make life so much easier. I didn't even use tanks last time. Tanks for reminding me. Oh. Actually, I don't want them to die. I don't want to have to remake them, so I actually won't use them. I'd rather use rookies. Nice and replaceable. This guy has no gun. Uh, sprint. You have a lot of energy. There we go. Maybe one more guy. Uh, yeah, you can sprint as well. Look at that. Isn't it great having people with experience? What have we got? They didn't die. Well, that's a bad sign. There's a lot of them, but that was kind of a given. Snake man, okay. That's not too bad. Run. Okay, that was a good couple of them. Oh shit. Oh shit. I hope that's all their movement. Oh my god, there's a third one. No, fuck. Oh, at least he got rid of my guy that was really bad at size strength. There goes Neil Diamond. Um, <laughs> I didn't really expect him to throw three chrysalids at the same time right into my face. So uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. 
I'm gonna have to bring more people over to take care of all of this. Especially because that guy has no gun. I might need the tank actually. Five aliens. It's very rare. Come on, man. It's a corridor full of them. How can you miss? God damn. The pinnacle of technology. And we can't hit for shit. That one was easy to take down. Uh, I did throw my grenade, okay. I'll get Bijou, sprint over, and take out the last load. Please, thank you. And then sprint into the corridor, corridor closet. Hmm. Yeah, I misplayed that pretty bad. I should have had people on the sides looking inwards so they could shoot chrysalids as they came in. But I didn't. Fuck, there's another one. Uh. Oh, shit. Well, I didn't expect the zombie to open the door. They don't usually move very far. Well, I am losing a lot more people than I would like. <laughs> Classic XCOM. The zombies rarely ever get any kills too. That's really sad. That he managed to get one here. Just walk up and shoot it, man. Grenade! Run away! Um, yeah, I'll set up a firing squad back here. Wait, you don't have a gun. Never mind. You're not part of the firing squad if you can't fire. And these guys can just... As long as they don't get shot by a blaster, they can just kill everything that comes out of the door. If it doesn't die to the proximity grenade. <laughs> like that. Um nah, keep the zombie alive, why not? Wow, the accuracy is so shit when they're all holding grenades. There's another crystal that- wait, no, that was just the one that the, uh, spawned out of the zombie. Never mind, nothing to see here. Except the fucking zombie turned into a crystal lid. Oh, I'm gonna have to take rookies to Cydonia. Because I've lost three people here. I expected, maybe I'll lose one. Not three. And I still might lose more, so we'll see what happens. On the plus side, that's a lot of really good reactions training. How far can you throw? This guy's a god. Oh. There goes that guy. I didn't quite throw the grenade far enough. I honestly thought that grenade throw would fail. But he did it anyway, because he's hand solo and he doesn't take shit from anyone except his son. And the other hand solos died. I think. I think at the very start, before I ever streamed the next parts of the game, I think we actually had three hand solos. 
Maybe. And then one of them quickly died. Don't know what happened there. Or there. Okay, well, Hansel is nearly dead. That's not ideal. I'm gonna throw a second grenade to the correct place. And then heal Han Solo so he doesn't die of death. Now he will not die of death. Please, end the mission. Okay, I'd be really impressed if this guy can throw though. Okay, he can't. What? What? What just happened? Oh! Oh shit, the proximity grenade of the corpse just went off, and now the corpse is gone. <laughs> and all the equipment that was with the corpse is also gone. Wow. Okay, well that's... unfortunate. This guy's a shit throw. You give Kirby a bad name. Explode. Not that there. Kirby. Because you're so shit at throwing, you will finish the job. Hopefully that's the last guy. And then we can buckle down, finish our research, and go to Mars. Thank you. Yeah, we're running out of equipment. Because we kind of blew up that corpse at the end. That's the downside of priming proximity grenades.